Okay, doing something a little different today. I want to do some overkill treatment on a very common kind of series. We've got the series from zero to infinity of three fourths to the n. And the first thing to notice is just that this is clearly in the form of a geometric series. If you think of our geometric, for, for our geometric series, we have something just like this. We can write it as x to the n. And for this, our formula is just going to be one over one minus x. And this is and, and for convergence, we have the condition on this that the absolute value of x just needs to be less than 1. Well, here, what we notice, 3 fourths, or absolute value 3 fourths, this is clearly less than 1. So this is clearly going to converge, and we can use our geometric series formula. In this case, we can find, in this case, we can just find our exact value, whereas a lot of times it's very hard to find the exact value for a series, but in this case, we can do it with this. Working this out, 1 minus 3 fourths is going to be just 1 fourth flip it and we have our answer to this, this is just gonna be four. So this is all really nice and quick and we did show our convergence just with this check. So this is like, and so really this right here is all you need to do on this, plug in the formula, show it's less than one and you're done. So everything after this, everything I'm gonna do now is kind of overkill, but I kind of like to overkill the series because then it lets us take a look at some of the different convergence tests and try to understand them better. So what I want to do now on this is let's do this using the root test. And we're doing this just to show convergence. Even, of course, we already know it converges. But what we need for this for the root test is going to be we're going to look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of what we have here, everything we have inside the series, which is just going to be 3 fourths to the n. Doing this, you can take the root and bring it outside of the absolute value. And then really we can drop the absolute value as clearly three fourths is positive. So we can just kind of clean, just kind of rewrite that. But then the nth root of three fourths to the n, this is just gonna be three over four. But our test for this is comparing our limit to the, just the value of one. When our limit is less than one, we can say that this is gonna converge. If it was greater than one, we'd say it diverges. If it was equal to one, it's inconclusive. Now it's interesting that we say one is inconclusive, where over here, we're saying it needs to be less than one. And that's true in a geometric series, right? If this was one, because if you imagine that this right here was one, then the series is gonna be one plus one plus one all the way to infinity. And because this is never going to zero, it's clearly gonna diverge. And the same thing would be true here for minus one, because I think for minus one, let's see, the, you, because if it was minus one, your first term would be one, then you'd be like one minus one plus one minus one. It's staying close to zero. What's going to happen is it's never going to converge to a single value because you're always going to be bouncing back and forth between one and zero. So this is also going to diverge. So this, so this makes sense for the geometric series. Here, technically, you have to check it, but because we're starting with a geometric series, it's really going to, it's really going to diverge if this value here is one. Next, we'll look at the ratio test for this. Again, we're looking at the limit as n goes to infinity. And again, we want absolute value on this. But what we're going to be comparing is 3 fourths to the n plus 1 over 3 fourths to the n. A good way to think about this is just at infinity. It's like we added one more term on the end of our infinity. And the question is when we do this, is it still going to be increasing, decreasing, or staying the same? So just working this out, first I'm going to drop the absolute value because everything's always going to be positive with a positive base. And so when we do this, 3 fourths to the n plus 1, I can just write this as 3 fourths to the n times 3 fourths. So then this is actually going to cancel with this. And so actually, I don't think I need to evaluate another limit because we're just evaluating a constant value. This is just going to be 3 fourths. And again, we have the same comparison as we had with the root test. We're just comparing this to 1. 3 fourths is less than 1. So this is going to converge. Same exact scenario where if it's greater than 1, it diverges. If it's 1, it's inconclusive. But we have this to show us that it's going to diverge at 1. And in both cases with the root test and the ratio test, we kind of see that it doesn't matter, you know, what we plug in here, it's going to come down to basically the same test we have in the geometric series. That's why we don't go through this. That's why it's overkill is like this does enough. This actually is the better test. But it's interesting to show that when we use these tests, we really come back to just like the same exact thing we had here on the geometric series. Okay, now for our last step for the overkill, we're doing the integral test on this. You'll notice we've set up our integral. It has the same bounds as the bounds on the series. We're going from zero to infinity. The one thing we change is, and you don't really need to do this, but it's kind of more, this is just to say that x is a continuous variable, so I did change from n to x here. 
And before we can do this, there is one check. We need to show that this right here is gonna be positive, continuous, and decreasing. Okay, so for positive, we're gonna say this is clearly positive just because our base is positive, raised to an exponent, so this is no problem. Continuous, there's no like, there's no asymptotes or anything. This is gonna be continuous. I don't see any problem. There's no problems from zero to infinity on this. So this is definitely continuous. And we can look at a graph for this, but clearly this is gonna be decreasing as well. And really it comes back to what we already know is that this is less than one. So this, when you raise to bigger exponents, this is just gonna be decreasing. So let's give that a check. And now coming back to this integral, we don't really care what the value is of it. That's not gonna be, the value of the integral is not gonna be the value of the series, but it is gonna help us with the convergence because if this integral converges, the series converges. If the integral diverges, the series diverges. So first I'm gonna take this three fourths and we'll do what we usually do in this like integral in this form of like a constant two X where we're gonna use the trick of rewriting this as E ln three over four. So taking it to the exponent of X, I can write the integral going from zero to infinity E ln three over four times X. Going ahead and integrating this, first we're gonna get back the same thing, but I'm gonna put it back in this form. So I'm gonna write the solution as three fourths to the x, but then we have a constant value that we bring out in the denominator as ln 3 fourths. Then we just need to evaluate this thing from infinity to zero. First evaluating at infinity, this piece right here is going to zero. And the reason it's going to zero, it kind of all comes back to this right here. The key is that it's less than one. So that's gonna cause this to go to zero. And so that's our first piece here. And then for the second part, minus plug in zero, the numerator is gonna become one and we end up with one over ln three fourths. And it doesn't really matter what this value is because the key is this is clearly gonna be some finite value. And so this is gonna converge. So we can also say that our series is gonna converge. One interesting note on this is you may be wondering why it looks like it's a negative number when the series has to be clearly positive. When we determine this was already positive, when we determine this is always positive, then this is always positive. So the area should be positive. Well, it turns out Natural log of three fourths is a negative number. So if you put this as a, if, so if you wrote this as a decimal and you distribute on the minus sign, this is gonna be a positive number here. I can't remember what this value is, but I did it on a calculator earlier. I think it was something like 3.5. Sometimes these can be, kind of be an estimate, so they can kind of be in the ballpark, but this is clearly, this here is clearly not equal to four. But again, that's not what we're really after here. We're looking just for the convergence. And so again, we can say this thing converges, we overkilled it, and that's about it. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.